Welcome to a tutorial of Inkscape. Today we're going to cover how to use Inkscape to print out on our laser cutter here at the Makerspace. I'm going to show you the best techniques and possibly the best images you want to use in order to get the best results on whatever you are engraving. I selected this image because it's nice and clean lines not too many details and a lot more contrasting. So let's get started. Inkscape is a vector-based software which is free for Windows, Linux, and Mac. So it's a great alternative to Illustrator and even sometimes Photoshop. I opened a new document. Let's save it. File. Save as. I always do this first because any changes I could automatically save it. Let's call girl one, save, and here we go. We have a new document. This is our board. You could also work outside of the board, but this is eventually the place where you will put an image to that you would want to print. Let's minimize this window because what we're going to do, let me make it a little bit bigger. go to my PC. Now I have this under my downloads and it's this, the girl image. Take your image here and just drag it over here to your board. Right here is the image import settings. You want to keep it embedded from the file and image rendering mode, none. We're just keeping it straight up from how it looks like. And then hit OK. So now you see we put this image into our saved project. And right now you can see it is covering our board. So it's a really big image. So we will have to make it smaller to fit in our board. If we want to resize our image, there's these little arrows all around the image on the corners, halfway, that we can easily resize. So make it smaller, make it larger. But you see right now that when we do that, it kind of distorts the image. We don't want to do that. So let's Control Z to undo it. In order to get it even so we don't distort image, you want to hit Control and then go to your side and easily make it smaller. Now we can place it here. Let me do make it smaller again. Now our image is not distorted. It's a good size on the board. This could be on a big piece of wood or even glass. Let me make it a little smaller. And here we go, here's our image. Now we wanna zoom into the image because we wanna make sure it's okay, it's looking fine before our image trace. So in order to zoom on Inkscape, spacebar and the plus symbol. To zoom out is spacebar and the minus symbol. Plus, minus. So let's zoom in. Here we go, we have our image right here. Um, let's see, I'm probably gonna take out the details after the image trace. So next up, we're gonna do an image trace. So in order to do image trace, make sure you are on the piece of image that you want to, you're highlighting that, the image that you want to image trace, which is a girl. Now we go to path, and trace bitmap. Click on there, and this will come up. So what I like to do and what helps a lot first is put the live preview. This will show you how it, if you were to do this setting, you would be able to see it. So let's try brightness cutoff. This is what we have right now. Edge detection, you can play around with this that what is it doesn't really trace that much 
color, let's see. Oh, that's just something we don't need. Invert image. Well, it's completely white. So let's go, I think the best option would be brightest cutoff. Now we could see right here that we don't have it necessarily all traced, so we could play with the threshold. I'm going to bring the threshold up and you can see that it changed and it's capturing more of the lines. So maybe when you do draw something or you find something, it's good to go over with a marker or a pen and make it darker when you're when you're copying it or taking a picture of it. But you could also do this. That's a good threshold, I think. If I did more, let's see how it would look. Oh, whoa. Well, you see right here, even at 0.710, you're picking up too much. So we don't need that. I think we had it. It's pretty good. 666. Where is it? 650. We're good. So I like how that looks. And it's smooth. Um, we could remove background. And then, okay. So it did it. You don't see it. Now we can X out of this. Now we want to, we still have the original image on below. On the top image, which is highlighting it, is the trace image. So we want to move that to the side so you can see exactly what we have there. And then we don't need this anymore. So let's put this on outside of the workspace. Okay. So let's move this image to the workspace. Here we go. See, it's complete image trace, and now I want to clean it up a little. So this is where I would use a race tool, and I would definitely zoom in. So spacebar plus, get in there. You can see right there, that's what I want to get rid of. So let's see with, maybe I'm going to change the width of this racer. To, let's try 14 and I think it's doing its job this will be a little bit time-consuming but if you do most of it before you scan the image um, maybe it won't come out and that's why I said cleaner lines works best so I could I could get rid of this part It would be easier, I'm not working with the mouse, I'm working with the trackpad on the laptop, but with the mouse I think you could get in closer and a little bit more uh, better results. We'll take this out. Let's see, maybe change the width here a little bit smaller. Just cleaning it up. Oops. Control Z. Cleaning out all those details. The little details. And this here too. And you want to also make sure your lines are closed um, if this was open and you wanted to cut this image out it would be a little bit weird this would be a nice image that would transfer pretty well onto wood I'll have more tips and tricks on Inkscape and things you could do to prepare your files for our laser cutter.